This video is an introduction into how design intent is used in Aviva Marine. So what we're going to see is a, a very quick review of how the 3D and 2D models are reviewed in Aviva Marine. And then we'll introduce a basic panel into a very simple section of a ship. We'll go on to copy that panel to another location as if it was a template and it would update itself to the local shape in that position. Then we'll relocate a major member, a deck, and show how that updates all the connected elements, including the panels that we've just introduced. And then we'll go in uh, along to update some of the elements on the surface of the vessel. So here we've just started a Vive Marine in a very simple project. We'll bring our model into the 3D space. We can see we've got some very simple um, structure and a little bit of outfitting inside. Uh, now we're in the 2D space. We can bring in a very similar view of the model, but in wireframe, part of a drawing, and build up the model in a very similar way. Equivalently, we can also take a section of the ship just by typing in the frame location or absolute position, asking for the viewing direction, and even limit the uh, amount of view we see. Now we're also selecting all the outfitting to be brought in. So views through the model in 2D can be built up very quickly and we will also be using these 2D views to model the next set of panels that we're going to have a look at. So here is a drawing we've prepared earlier and we're going to start by placing a new panel uh, in the location that I'm just about to indicate. Uh, it happens to be frame 5. Here we're just removing some elements so that you can see. So I've got two uh, web frames that are available for placing of panels. So now we'll start this process. We'll use the panel wizard to build up a panel. We can start by giving it a name, uh, placing it at a particular location in the view. And now we start building up our design intent by specifying the elements that we want to connect this panel to. So we've selected the longitudinal bulkhead, the deck, and the surface has also been including. We can now bring in or specify the thickness of the plate to be used at that location. The plate is now in place. Uh, next we'll put some stiffeners in. These are simply going to be some flat bars um, placed along a line and we'll simply indicate them based on the frame spacing. So now we've created those flat bars. So once we apply that panel, we can see in the 3D view that that panel has been generated in the 3D model. Ultimately, all we're doing is creating a set of rules which place that piece of plate and those stiffness together as a panel unit. So next, we're going to add a hole, and we're going to do it parametrically. So we're going to link it to this corner by the edge of the plate, and then we're going to put it uh, a small offset to add this. So in this process here, we're linking a parametric point to the corner of the panel. You can see that indicated by the small blue axes. And now we're creating a hole that's placed at that point location. And we can see that hole there in the 3D model. Here we see the set of rules, the design intent that has been used to build up this model. Uh, simply defines a, a plate boundary, the plate itself, stiffeners, the parametric point, and the hole. So now we're going to use this panel as a template and copy it to a new location. And copy it to frame one. So that quickly takes that panel, copies the rules, adjusts the frame location, and places a new panel there based on the same information, but it will be adapted to the new size of the shape in that location. To see the design intent working, what we're next going to do is modify the location of this deck. We're going to take it down by 500 millimeters. So here we see the deck moved down and the views updated 
but at this point we haven't yet updated the neighbouring panels. The moved panel itself has updated its geometry to the area around. So for example we see the hole get slightly smaller as the hull has kept come slightly in towards the panel as it's been pushed down. So now let's update our neighbouring elements. We just select them and pr press go. Like that. So they've just re-executed their rules and updated the panel uh, in situ. So everything has now been changed. We've made that change to the deck height. You can see that the outfit location is much higher. That's a separate task. Um, now we have a task to update the stiffeners. We have to uh, update, select them directly. As there's also a panel in the view that has the same, exactly the same geometry. Uh, but there we have the update to the side shell.